Hello everyone, it's Melanie here with Vintage Hill Studio. I'm so glad you dropped by today. I will be doing a happy birthday banner card and this is what it will look like. So this is a simple fancy it up card using a Doris embossing folder. That's the star of the card today. And I'll be starting with a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card base, a four and a quarter by five and a half inch black mat, and a four and one eighth by five and three eighths white mat. So you can see my card and black mat. I will set those aside for right now. And I will use my white mat inside my embossing folder. Now my white mat is a little smaller than the embossing folder itself so I'm going to take a little time here to line this up between the B in birthday and the Y in birthday to make sure that I can get that all on this smaller sized mat. I'll bring over my Sizzix Texture Boutique add my plates on each side with the shims and run it through the boutique just to get this nice embossed happy birthday banner. All right, so that only takes a few seconds. And I always love revealing the embossed image. Here it is in all its glory. Okay, a little plain. So the thing that came to mind to fancy this up was to simply use some watercolor pencils and a water brush. So I'm just taking a lighter shade and a darker shade of green that I thought would look good together because I'm going to use my water brush to give all of these little letters that are debossed in the embossed image an ombre effect. In order to do that, I will use the lighter green color to go completely over each letter like so. And then I'll use my darker green just to come up from the bottom and across about midway to add that deeper hue of green. And then after I get that done, I will use my water brush to smooth out the colors. And you will see how this will create a very subtle ombre effect. And as it dries, of course, it smooths out even more. So I'm just going to do one of these letters in my video because you get the gist of it. You don't want to sit here and watch me do each one of these letters, but it does go very quickly. So um, you can get this whole banner done in probably less than five minutes. So I try to stay inside the lines. Now, if I made any mistakes with my watercolor pencils in getting outside of the embossed or the debossed image of these letters, all I have to do is take an a, erase or an erase it before I add the water. So this is a very simple procedure, and you can see this is going to leave an, the white embossed outline around each letter, and this is what it will look like. So off camera, I've gone ahead and done each of the letters, and I've got that done and I want it to add a subtle background so I'm using another pencil just to add a trio of dots and then some single dots here and there. And I'll go over that whole mat and get that filled in. The next thing I want to do is add some flowers. So I use the Sizzix tat Tattered Flower Garden and I cut out all my flowers and put them together and added a little black center to each. I cut out more than I need it so that I could choose, pick and choose what I wanted to use on my card. So I'll go with a trio at the bottom and two at the top of the banner and then I just added a simple little leaf on each edge. So if you don't have a die cutting machine, no big deal. You can buy die cuts at any Michaels or Hobby Lobby store or order them online through Amazon. Just use what you have. Fill in around your birthday banner with, with whatever you choose to embellish your card with. I just like this trio of flowers with a little bit of greenery at the bottom. So I'll just get these all adhered down. You can see how quickly this goes and our card is almost finished. So kind of take a look through some of your embossing folders. If you're not sure what to do with them, especially if they have some writing like this happy birthday banner, 
maybe give it a go with some markers or watercolor pencils just to add a little detail. I tried to do the inking thing and it turned out to be a big mess. So for me, the watercolor pencils allow me a, a little more control and I was able to get that color directly into the debossed part of those letters. So there is our finished card. You can see we've got some dimension, the inside and outside completed. And then of course, my handy dandy easy peasy lined envelopes. You can find other YouTube videos about how to line your envelopes. And I hope you will subscribe to either my YouTube channel or come visit me on my blog. Happy crafting everyone!